Last week we watched Colleen Ballinger's 2019 Netflix special, which could only be described as a horrible little creepy time. It's come to my attention though that uh, those horrible little creepy times weren't restricted to 2019, and apparently she went on a whole uh, tour last year, which is very well documented. People were filming this thing for a whole hour and 20 minutes. Okay, this is already an incredible start. <laughs> this is, this has such a heavy aura of like a Ricky Gervais thing. I said it as a joke last week, but this is fully what it is. She's crying about cancel culture. All YouTubers one by one drops like flies until there were none left. They have all been canceled. Out of these, it's mainly her. Last week, someone made a comment saying, Oh, you know, her name is Miranda Sings. Why are you complaining about all the songs? I'm complaining about the songs uh, because they're horrible. Yeah, they just, they should have just pulled out a goddamn ukulele, you know? Oh my god, is this whole thing gonna be about cancel culture? Oh my, is this whole thing gonna be about cancel culture? That's so good. I, like, I love that. I love how badly aged that is. <laughs> That's so sick. What a, what a victory lap of her win against cancel culture. All of you guys behind your little keyboards typing messages and mean things. No, anyone can get canceled. Even this guy. TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> this crowd loves her, to be fair. She just said the word TikTok and everyone started cheering. So I'm going to teach you to you. We're going to do a TikTok dance on stage. My name is Chi Chi. My name is Chi Chi. <laughs> Paid good money for this, Miranda Sings. I paid good money to see this show, and you're doing a TikTok dance on stage? Okay, right at me. That was a fart joke. <laughs> this guy can't catch a break. <laughs> this guy can't catch a break. He keeps farting all the time. There's only one thing you can do to avoid getting canceled now. Drop it. This keeps getting better. She predicted her next year of her life. I guess that's not too difficult, uh, since she obviously knows what she's done. Just put Miranda Singh's face in there. Don't put this guy's face in there. Put Miranda Singh's face in there. You need, what are you doing? This is an apology video. This is, this is the most important moment of your career. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's awful. No, no, no. Better what she, than what she did. Chris is not even an influencer. He understands what you need to do in an apology video a bit better. You know, apologize, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, she stepped into the apology video box. She stepped into the apology video box. If she's gonna sing now. I've tried filming this hundreds of times. <laughs> I'm so sorry, the person that I was, that's not me. I don't even know who that person is anymore. Okay, I want to compare between the two. So, in her parody of an apology... The person that I was, that's not me. I don't even know who that person is anymore. I used to message my fans. <laughs> Buy my merch. Like you know, probably, probably better if she went with a parody one. You know, she was like actually saying sorry. She wasn't really taking accountability, but I guess the same could be applied for this as well. I was in group chats with my fans. It was weird. That was weird, is one way of calling it. I still want to help you 
all figure out how to get rid of cancel culture so you don't get canceled for yourself, okay? Incredible, incredible stuff that, that I'm watching here. Oh, you're missing your pants. <laughs> I was here. Oh, no. Hey guys, here is how to be famous on TikTok. I'm really scared because this is like copyrighted, isn't it? They're just doing TikTok dances. Do you understand now? So they, this show is very, you know, very up with the times. She's talking about getting cancelled. She's talking about TikTok culture. I hate this. I must warn you, there are haters even on TikTok. Big bully haters, okay? So I'm going to show you. Oh, great. On my TikTok account. These We're gonna are see her reading through comments so again, like so in the last special. You know what, though? I do get lots of other videos out there that are really mean and awful, and everyone's trying to cancel me every freaking day of my life. But they're just a bunch of jealous haters. And yeah, everyone who's trying to cancel Miranda Sings now in 2023 is a jealous hater. I think so. Yeah. I just truly hate those songs. It's especially there's it's especially the fact that she is a good singer, you know, and I'm forced to hear this version of her singing, which is um, just such a sore to my ears. Is that how she calls her fans? She's been on YouTube for 15 years. The best she could come up with is Morfanda. Sure, we're, we're nearly halfway in. This this whole thing is about cancel culture. In order to avoid cancel culture, you need to know how it began. Where did it come from? I have recently written a Broadway musical. She's written a musical about cancel culture. I thought this is a musical about, about cancel culture. It's about the pandemic. I think she's a Karen now. Jesus Christ. I just, I guess I just didn't think that today I'll be spending my morning uh, watching the Miranda Sings COVID musical, you know? I could find strangers on social media, get offended by everything that they do, and then I could hate comments. This is Ricky Gervais for children. You know how you got baby Mozart? This is baby Ricky Gervais. I see this, I see this uh, show as partly her kind of trying to train her audience for the eventual day in which she gets canceled. No, if you cancel me, you're lame, actually. <laughs> if you cancel me, you're one of the bad guys because you, you remember all my shows and songs about how if you cancel me, that's, you know, that's really rude. Yeah, I, I don't know if that really worked out for her. She's been, she's been prepared to never take accountability from a year ago. Wow. This song is filled with, with the same spite and anger of like the apology video song. There's a vaccination. So she's now doing a song about the vaccine. I mean, a, a song about the film. So, this is like a very long SNL skit. That's why I'm here tonight, to teach you all how to not get canceled. So if I already teach you a little bit, you can say haters back off, but that usually just ticks people off. It doesn't really stop them, they'll still kind of try to cancel you. So Should have tried that, maybe. Should have said haters back off. <laughs> now listen, hi! Here, hold this, but don't touch me. It's, it's, um, okay. it's fascinating <laughs> that it seems like the Netflix show that was a lot more sexually charged was the show with the kids in it. And this show, which I'd say is a lot more tame in comparison, is the one with all the adults? What what, in, what the hell is going on over there? Oh, it's and then you sell it. 
I want to hear Miranda sing say the word stinky winky ever again in my life. Okay, who's more likely to kiss me? What is this show? <laughs> She's getting people on stage trying to kiss her. And we're both gonna kiss you. <laughs> and you have to guess which one is the wife or the husband and which one is me, okay? Definitely a, a fetish. <laughs> we're delving into deep fetish territory with this, with this bit. We're gonna play a little game called Wife or Weenus. <laughs> you can kiss your husband, John, and you're gonna kiss my weenus. So right here, located right on the elbow, <laughs> is an extra little bit of skin. It's a big... Hey. I still believe that that's a fetish. No offense, I just think women are really awesome, and I feel like especially women... I agree with the first half of this statement. Women are awesome. To all the women watching this video, this one goes to you. And she said she couldn't come, so... <laughs> yeah, JoJo Sia was too rich for this. Doing. The show didn't have to be an hour and 20 minutes long. She didn't have to pad it out with 40 TikTok dances. Yeah, I can't. I can't do this. I'm just gonna get demonetized. <laughs> no, can't do this. A lot of people get canceled for things they did a long time ago. So that means... That Reminder, the Netflix special that we've seen, which I'd say the stuff that happening over there is, you know, it's, it's something to think about. Uh, that was made like three years, three years before this. Something you're doing right now today that seems totally fine. You could get canceled for it in 15 years. She knew. She knew that she's living on borrowed time, you know? Living on borrowed time, the clock ticks faster. The way that I can help you guys is if I go into the future. <laughs> is she gonna be canceled in the future? Is that how she knew? And there's no way she licensed any of these songs. Exactly what you need to do to not get canceled. So okay. Colleen Ballinger, listen to Miranda Sings from the Future. Let's see what she says. Let's listen to her wise advice. There's only one thing that can get you not canceled in the future. Just you gotta listen to this, Colleen. This is important stuff. One thing. You can be as offensive as you want. It doesn't matter. As long as you do one thing. You gotta listen to this. I've participated in her goddamn merch ad inadvertently. I'm not not happy about that. She's so terrible, so ugly, so disgusting. Nothing can save her from being canceled. Hit it! <laughs> There's something deep inside Colleen Ballinger that is, I, I'd say, self-destructive, you know? I cannot describe that ukulele video with any other way than self-destructive. She self-destructed a year before the ukulele video. You guys enjoyed the show so far? <laughs> There's something so fascinating about seeing a person so preemptively obsessed with their own downfall. As much as it is like a catchphrasey sort of joke, even the haters back off thing, it's all about that. I can't, uh, I don't want to watch this anymore. Thank you for watching me, uh, subscribe. Hey, that's nice.